Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrices tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to solve simultaneous equations using matrices. Okay, so let's give you a simultaneous equation. So let's say we have 3a minus 2b equals 0. And let's do a minus b equals 1. Okay, let's try and find out what a is equal to and what b is equal to. Now, uh, the first thing we want to do is put the put this information in matrices. Okay, so what do we do? Well, if you remember matrices, basically, if we have a matrix with a and b like that in one column, then what happens is if we put um, in the rows 3 and negative 2 in the first row and 1 and negative 1 in the second row and then let's put in the answer which is 0, 1 in the answers then what this means is pretty much exactly the same as the equation right because let's multiply this out using matrix multiplication we have the first row times by the first column so that's 3a minus 2b which equals the first row and the first column which equals 0 so that is the same as our first equation and if we do the second one we have the first row times by the first column which is equal to the answer in the first row in the second column so 1a minus 1b equals 1 so again that is the same equation okay so let's get rid of all these signs and let's now solve this using our idea of the inverse so if we look at how this equation is made up if we have a times x is equal to let's say b right so we already know what a is because a is corresponding to this first matrix we already know what it is B is corresponding to this matrix, so we already know what it is. We just want to find out what X is. So basically, we want to make X the subject. We want to make it so that we know what X is equal to. So the way we get to that is I'm going to multiply both sides by the inverse of A. A inverse AX equals A inverse B. So I multiply by inverse at the front. So I'll just write that down. So multiply by inverse of A at the front at the front of each side. Now if you guys remember that uh, matrices are not commutative meaning that AB is not the same as BA so it is quite important whether you decide to multiply it at the front on both sides or at the back on both sides so because on the left hand side we're multiplying it at the front we have to do this at the front as well okay so now the inverse of A times by A is equal to I so this section here turns into i so ix is equal to a inverse times b and any matrix times by i is just the same matrix so x is equal to um, the inverse of a times by b okay so let's get back to our uh, equation so we have 3 negative 2 1 negative 1 times a b equals 
zero one. And now we try now because a is equal to this, we want to find the inverse of a. And so we're going to use that formula where we uh, make these four terms a, b, c, d. Okay, and then the inverse of a is 1 over a, d minus b, c multiply by uh, a and d switched around and b and c turn into the negatives. So using that uh, formula I will get the inverse of a is 1 over negative 3 right 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus b times c so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 <clears throat> multiply by in the brackets a and D switched around so I have negative 1 3 B and C turn into their negatives so negative negative of negative 2 becomes positive 2 negative 1 here and then 1 over negative 3 plus 2 so 1 over uh, negative 1 so that's just basically just negative 1 so let's just rub all this out and change that to negative 1 of negative 1 to negative 1 3 so then that just becomes um, 1 1 negative 2 negative 3 and that is the inverse of a so we're now going to multiply this on both sides so then I have 1 1 negative 2 negative 3 multiplied by 3 negative 2 1 negative 1 And then I have a b equals, and I'm going to multiply this at the front as well. So 1, negative 2, 1, negative 3 by uh, 0, 1. So let's see if this works. Okay, let's see if this works. So I'm just going to try it and see if I multiply all of this out, then it's going to give me the identity matrix. So let's just try that. So 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So 3 plus negative 2 is 1. And then let's do first row, first column. First row, second column, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And then second row, first column, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And then second column, second row, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So yep, it does equal the identity matrix. So on the right hand side, we then end up with uh, 1 times 0 is 0, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then 1 times 0 is 0, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Okay, now this means that because the identity matrix times A and B will just give you A and B again. You can try it out if you want by multiplying it out. So A and b is equal to negative 2, negative 3, so that just means a is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to negative 3. Now if you don't believe me, let's try putting it back in the original equation. So let's copy this out, 3a minus 2b equals 0. And what's the other one? 
uh, a minus b equals 1. Okay, let's test the first one. So 3 times negative 2 minus 2 times negative 3. That equals negative 6 plus 6, which is 0. So yes, it's worked. Now let's try the second test. Negative 2 minus negative 3. That equals negative 2 plus 3, which is equal to 1. So that's the second test. So we have successfully solved the simultaneous equation using matrices. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.